Mix your paint with your H for H and a burn you like people there would be radiation. Back spread and a patient. Like a treatment like veteran cancer patients. How many times have you got the shit knocked out of you because of some shit you said on Dis or Daps? Oh shit, you wanna know? All right. At you, least you once! Got, you got, <laughs> there was at least one you got, time! You guys wanna hear a story? Can I tell them a story? I would love to hear a story. Yeah, Alright, so. Dis or Daps! Dis or Daps! Dis or Daps! This is live music at its finest! Come on, make some noise! That's right, because this is the legendary, the one and only Dis or Daps! And we are here to celebrate rap in its finest, hip hop culture and everything that comes with it. And this is your chance to shine, that's right, because if you put your name in the bucket, you might get a chance on stage tonight in front of our esteemed panel of judges here. Everybody, make some noise for the one and only Paradox Life on the tables. He is a driving force in Edmonton hip hop, so everybody make some noise, because this is the legend himself, J Reds! He's going international, he's all over the world. Everybody make some noise for my friend and your friend, Pear, the one and only Poltergeist OD! And me, I am your friendly neighborhood MC, that's right, I am MC Ironfoot. From outer space to coast to coast, and although I'm highly animated, only my leg here is a ghost. And I am so stoked to be here for my first time on stage at Backstairs Burgers. To so everybody, are you ready for some real hip hop here tonight? I say it, are you ready for some real hip hop here tonight? Let everybody make some noise, cause this is Dis or Dad! All right, you motherfuckers, you know how this goes. We got the bucket. You had your chance to put your name in here. If you didn't put your name in, fuck you. That's your responsibility, not ours. We actually have more names than we've ever had in the bucket tonight. We got 20 names in this bucket. That is a brand new record for us, and we're going to keep this going. So what happens? If you put your name in this bucket, we are going to pull names out of here. And if your name is selected, that means you come onto the stage and you have one minute to rap uninterrupted. You could spit a freestyle. You could ask us to spit an acapella. You could spit a written. There is no requirement on what you can spit, but you have one minute to do so. First name out of the bucket tonight, we have... Oh, man, you guys got to learn how to fucking write. Some incoherent scribble, Joey. <laughs> no way you were high when you wrote this? <laughs> let's hear some fucking noise, come on. All right, let's fucking go, District Dabs, fucking Backstairs Burgers. God damn, it's a beautiful venue. All right, fuck it. Fucking top of the dome, like I don't even know. Everybody looking at me, so we chilling in the zone, like I'm doing what I gotta. I'm kind of fucking prophetic. They've been looking at me now. You couldn't split it, just pathetic. Fucked up mentally, they saying that I'm struggling, like I don't understand it. Saying fucking get that hustle in, doing this shit all my life, like fucking get it. They've been looking at me now, like fucking fish you won't remember. I'ma get this bag, fucking go obtain the grain. They've been looking at me now, they think I'm never gonna change. Fucking gotta make a name, I made it through the struggle. They angry at me now, and now they hate on the hustle. Fucking gotta get it, cause they call us independent. Solo dolo motherfuckers gotta put my homies independent. RIP to the people, can't be with me, I ain't understand no more. It's like I'm fucked up rapping tipsy. Fucking gotta do it all again, I'm with my friends. I'm with my goddamn people, until the goddamn end. I started doing this shit, fuck it, I'ma have some fun. Cause they been looking at me, now they say it's Joseph, get along. Ah. <laughs> Make some motherfucking noise for Joe. Oh. oh God. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> you should be. <laughs> Yo, how many how many times have you rapped on stage? This is my second time. This microphone. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is, this it, is it's my second time. <laughs> so this is in fact your second rodeo. Yo, it actually is my second rodeo. <laughs> That used to be your shirt. Oh, sons of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. He's going to tell me to figure it out. Bro. Did you just snort? I fucking heard that from over here. 
We're gonna we're gonna censor it on the YouTube. <laughs> Too vulgar. The, you didn't really leave me a lot to make fun of you with because it was it was pretty solid. Like you you you, you wrapped your way the whole way through. The you know the for for my homies that can't be with me shit like I felt that we all we we all know the hood been fucking crazy lately, <laughs> fucking crazy. Yeah, rest talking to the microphone, bro. Rest. Ah, god damn it! I'm dumb. I'm staring at him. I was looking in his eyes. Look at his eyes. <laughs> Just set to the blue rate right as you said that. Ah, oh, now the orange betrayed me. <laughs> Appreciate the guy in the lights. <laughs> for real though, I'm, I'm I'm happy you came out tonight though, bro. I know for a long time you've been like talking about getting up out here on the mic more. I could tell you've been in the dojo. I could tell you've been in the dojo. That was crisp, smooth flow the whole way through. I wish you would have sucked more because it would have been funnier. Yeah. Uh, yo, next time I'll come really fucking high on edibles because now I'm not going to be super worried about it. You're acting like you're not really high on edibles I'm right now. I'm not really high on edibles. I'm only 500 milligrams. Come yo, on. yo, this guy sent me a pre advance message. He was like, just to make sure, I could bring my edibles, right? <laughs> They're right here. Yo. They're just for, the, you, the, for the panel. Oh, this is sweet. Yo, if you, if you like edibles, courtesy of my buddy Joey. Thank you, Sam. I think we just got sponsored. <laughs> but probably not. Uh, probably too fucking stupid for it sometimes, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pulty, what do you got? Well, my favorite part is the belly tap you did after. You just kind of... Oh, I'm sober, bud. Uh, I'll throw it, though. I'll, I'll just make yeah, you... Oh, oh, yeah, hey! Yeah, hey! Hey! It was destiny. <laughs> now you have to eat that whole thing right now. You have to eat it before they pull your name. Yeah. That's them's the uh, rules. <laughs> yeah, flow was on point. You were... You were projecting your voice really well, your lyrics were good. Was that off the top or was I that I had no written? fucking idea what I was gonna say when I stepped on the stage, bro. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, bro. It's all Sick. top of the dome. I don't know how to articulate my shit into actual built sentences yet. Sing it. I'm too sporadic. Sing it, she says. <laughs> come on, come on, Chris Brown, let's go. <laughs> I can make fun of you a little bit though. What's that purse thing you got there? That's where you keep your weed? Right behind Jack Skellington? What the? No, he, I don't. I, he, I mean, my he wife says he's sober, to. and just now everybody's throwing I'll throw it, though! I'll throw it! <laughs> he's like, this isn't a charity. I was trying to earn some props. No, I'm cool with it. I just need that well, now it's a charity. It's my homies. <laughs> well, we're all homies here. We can. There we go. Uh, yeah, man, I don't know, fucking, it was, it was dope. Your, your second time ever rapping on stage, fucking off the dome, like, that was, that was great. I don't really have much critique. Shit. Definitely more belly taps. You usually have something to say. Yeah, I don't know, I, well, fuck you, I guess, I don't know. I'll take it, I'll take it. Fuck you and fuck Audi. <laughs> I don't know, fuck. You guys. I'm sober, don't judge me. You guys don't even know. You ain't even sitting at, at a waist level with this motherfucker on stage, but Joby wearing these track pants that all they say is, I have a huge hog. That is all these track pants say. <laughs> Everybody look at his hog! <laughs> he didn't even flinch. That's how you know. <laughs> we got a lot of names in this bucket, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I should probably go. <laughs> You guys make some fucking noise for Joey. <laughs> Appreciate y'all motherfuckers. Let's have some fun tonight. All right, you know what to do. You know what to do. All right, well, you guys in this motherfucking bucket. I want to talk to Samson. Fly me to the moon. If you don't get that reference, we should ID you. Samson gets me lifted. Fuck, that's almost too high of a step for me. Just kidding. All right, oh, yo, yeah, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yo, I forgot to say, I forgot to say, we have actually a new segment that we're introducing to this show. I'm fucking high and I forgot. But, yo, yo, Joey, my man Joey, where'd Joey go? Yo, you, when you're done on stage, 
You got to go to the back corner over there. And we're now doing post bucket pull interviews. So, so take, take your fat burger. No, he's going to leave the burger. He's not going to take the burger to the interview. Yes, our man, Let's our, go. Our man Gump's going to be doing interviews. Paradox Life, spin that shit. Oh, yeah. Uh. Look, homie, it's game time, and it be the rebirth and the apocalypse. But if it happened at the same time, you made your choice and I made mine. And if you're talking pennies when I think you're talking dollars, forgive me, I gotta change mine. Hear it through the speakers and instead of the grapevine. Steph Curry with the shot, you bet I'm gonna take mine. Full clear finish, so you bet it's gonna take lives. And I suggest you take sides before you end up in the gravesite. Roll the Dutch, you about to take flight. West Coast and with snaps, it's about to be a great night. Show me at 10, the doors open at 8, right? And then we about to shut this motherfucker down late night crack a philly cause i need this ill in me just twist another blunt roll it up and is you still with me the kush still sticky and we just a couple of boys in the hood now you're about to watch me kill ricky it's like i'm dmc i'm still tricky yeah they call me odb baby show me where the bills be 780 edmonton is where i still be if i rep it to the death and i guess it'd be best to kill me samson make some noise for samson yeah Samson, my man. What up? Just because I also have obscure, unnoticeable face tattoos, I want to know what your face tattoos right. are. The one on the left is the snare drum, and the one on the right is a kick drum. Uh, done by somebody who wasn't uh, considered professional, that's for sure, but uh, we're working on it. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you. Right. Where's the rest of the kit? Right? Where's the rest of the drum kit? You got to play strip poker. You got to get like a China symbol back here or All you need is a kick and snare, bro. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. I feel like having a kick drum and a snare by both of your eyes is a really bad idea if you ever are getting beat up. Oh, well, I, I, I never get beat up, so that doesn't really work out. So what you're saying is that kick and the snare don't play then? It don't play. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Uh, all, all, all jokes aside, I want to know where you got your pants from and why was it American Eagle? <laughs> nice. Fuck, you didn't give me anything to work with there in the rebound, so I'm going to see what both these got to say. Uh, yeah, that was great. Uh, I loved the fucking boys in the hood line and how you like went like this. I love like I love physical shit on stage, like like acting out your lyrics. That shit's like super important to me personally, so I love when I see that in other artists. Uh, your flow's on point. Your voice is great. Uh, am I the only one who's noticing like the sound in here is really fucking good? It is pretty fucking. Make some noise yeah, nice for Edge one, sound. Man. It's good. It's good. I fucks with like it. that. That felt really good. Yeah. That felt like I like I was at a performance and not you know yeah. this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I fucking keep it up. Obviously, you're doing Respect. a great job. Respect. Yeah. yeah, no, no, it was, it, 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 like, I know I was making fun of you and shit, but, like, for, it, I had to make fun of your, like, clothing and tattoos because the rap was solid, yeah, and right. there has to be some diss in this, but, no, you, 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 you did rap well, man, you did rap well. You got anything coming out? Uh, yeah, I've been working on some shit. I got some shit dropping with Ingy. We got MVP coming out with, uh, with King Mac and ING and uh, a couple other fucking solo songs, but uh, there's no release date for those ones just yet, but... Probably watch out for MVP. That one's coming out real soon, like October 25th, I believe. That's dope. That's dope. Fuck you. What do you what, what do you do for work? What do you what do you do for like a day job outside of rapping shit? I just sell rappers beats, man. Just sell rappers beats. This man out here living off of beats. If you need a beat, you gotta hit up Samson. I wanna talk to Samson. You, Samson gets me lifted. I got a beat on my next album from it. It's fucking dope as shit. You guys make some motherfucking noise for Samson. And you know what to do. Samson, my man, you gotta head on up over to the interview corner. Head up to that corner and get your post bucket interview. Can I get Wise Guy to the stage? Oh, that was a solid pop. Why is this guy rapping? Hey, yo. 
What up, Backstair Burgers? Woo! All right. I thought people would clap and make noise. But is this food really good? It looks really good. I haven't tried yet. Oh, am I supposed to rap already? Shit. Yo, you rap you're, whatever, you're, man. Okay. Uh, whenever I'm dropping some shit, it's probably sick. I didn't even enter my name, audiologist did, thank you. I took five hits of acid, it was too much, it was too much. I'm trying to normalize, I'm gonna see the world again through normal eyes. Feel torn aside, things are hard to organize. Never felt more dead, but more alive. What am I to glorify in this poor design? God, was I born to fly or just born to die? Can't find the sun in the stormy sky. I just wanna fucking go and die. Nah, I'm not depressed though. I wouldn't sell my soul to pull the geist. It's too expensive, it's overpriced. I overload on rhymes, I get loaded, guy. I forgot what the wrote inside this entire verse, so I'll just go off the dome this time. It's overtime. It's probably more than rhymes. 53, 54, 55. <laughs> <laughs> no, make some noise for wise guy. All right. That was almost a minute of rap. That was almost good. <laughs> it wasn't. It was almost good. I, I, I do perform later and it will be better. That was unplanned and not good. So I want to know, is audiologist putting people's name in the bucket the only reason we have a new record tonight for people in the bucket? I, he said he was going to do it, and I didn't fight back, so... That sounds like when you lost your virginity. <laughs> <laughs> I did not fight back. <laughs> no, you did not. <laughs> um, so you, you, you came out, and you immediately had better uh, uh, mic placement and breath control than anybody who's been on the stage yet tonight, so you commanded with authority... You dropped the freestyle and like you made it relevant, like noticeable content out the way. Uh, you had that fucking normalized, normalize bar. That was that was dope, especially like being freestyle. Then uh, you said that you were depressed, but then you said that you weren't, and the the survey determined that that was a lie. <laughs> I'm not depressed anymore. Mike, microphone. I'm I'm currently not depressed. <laughs> I have been depressed. Make some noise for non-depression. <laughs> Shut up, mental illness. Depression's okay too sometimes. It's okay. Sometimes. Th th then you you said something about you said something about dropping the acid and it made you too high, and those pants also determined that that was the truth. I thought they were trying to hypnotize me when you first came out here. Did it work? It's an optical illusion of the pants. I Got them from the it pants did, it store. It did not normalize things. <laughs> yeah. That was it's, my own. I don't know. <laughs> Fuck. Both my my eyes are up. My face is up here, J-Rez. <laughs> He's looking for that hog. We got distracted <laughs> earlier. Joey set the tone. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. Next time. Next time wear your hog pants, bro. Um, are you telling him to stuff it or what? <laughs> why does your jacket look inside out and right side? Like, wh what is happening? Oh, I was like, I can't tell. This is this jacket's falling apart. <laughs> this pocket was inside out, like flopped inside out. It's okay. This show's falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! The show's falling apart. It's not falling apart. <laughs> that's a, we're not. That's a bad attitude. <laughs> Shout out to not falling apart. This jacket's got like a rip on the back. It's awful. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you're one of the best rappers I've ever heard, so I don't know what to say to you other than fuck okay. you. Next time we're going to use your hat for the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Yo, make some noise for uh, me, I guess. <laughs> Yo, wise guy is one of the most... No, you stay the fuck up there. I didn't say you could leave yet. Wise guy yes, is daddy. one of the most esteemed battlers we have in Edmonton. I mean, Edmonton is a pile of dukes, so that's not a whole lot, but like... We're, we're proud to have him. W w what battles do you have coming up next, wise guy? Um, I did battle Neckbone recently, uh, a few weeks ago. That went really well. I kind of smoked him, and it comes out in like 
next week sometime, like Monday or Wednesday. It's going to be really good, actually. Good, good reminder there. You have to look it up on YouTube when it drops next uh, week. I don't know. Wise guy with a Z. You guys, if you spell it wrong, you're fucking... You did it wrong. So uh, <laughs> you got to switch the Z with an S if you're looking for me on the internet. Yeah, because there's nobody else in the internet named Wise Guy, and you'll totally find it. <laughs> if, you, if you put the Z in there instead of the S, you will find it. You will exactly find it. Uh, Wise Guy versus... Shout out to Freezer Burnt Battles. That's the league uh, in Edmonton. I helped start that league. I'm not trying to brag because... It's Paul, I mean, whatever. Shout, <laughs> shout out to uh, those, those guys. It's freezer burn, if you already know, you know. Well, that went, that, that went really well. I told you to plug the things you have coming up in the future, and all you did was talk about the past, so that was a very good segment and went proper. <laughs> it, it does come up in the future, the release of that battle. Oh, because we're a bunch of stoner-ass rappers and nothing's ahead of time. It's, it is coming soon. It's very, it's very, very current. <laughs> you guys, make some fucking noise for wise guys. <laughs> I actually just did my debut. Wise guy, you gotta Fraser go to the Burns. fucking interview corner. I told I told Wise Guy if I can win ten battles, I'm fucking coming after him. And he's done one so far, so we're off to the races. It only took us ten years to get him to do the first one. Yeah. So, what do we do next? We need more tables. We yeah. should just like set up fucking bongos. Can I get a Jack anywhere to the stage? What the? Oh, okay. He's <laughs> no. He means you can find him on social media anywhere, but that's not what we meant. So fuck you. Hello, guys. Hi. Oh, this is way slower than I wanted to be. Okay. He said, fuck it up, yeah, I ain't enough. That's all good, I'm a freestyle off the top. It's just Ajax back in the cut. I just don't do this shit enough, but I'ma do it tonight. Yeah, when I spit the shit on the mic, you probably hear some shit that you actually like. Uh, when the shit bump out the speakers, yeah, I'm about to drop it off. That's about all I got for you. Oh, fuck it, I don't freestyle. All right, 22 seconds. <laughs> Woo! Let's go. That's a record for me, guys. Damn, make some noise. I think that also might be a record for us. That might have been the <laughs> shortest freestyle we've ever gotten. I feel like we kicked JVN off stage quicker before. This minute that, that, has that 22 sense, seconds. Yeah. No, he, he could not get off the stage in time. That's the problem. <laughs> you started out by saying you were slower than you wanted to be. No, uh, yeah, that, yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> And then? You fucking stole my punchline. <laughs> same, bro, same. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I left him speechless, guys. Damn. I like the part when you said shit like 400 times. In Fuck like yeah. Four yeah seconds. Me too, actually. I like the part where you stopped rapping. because. <laughs> me too, <laughs> actually. <laughs> hey, Jack, what did you leave us here with, man? Fuck. <laughs> I, I don't know, you're laughing, so I mean, something, I think, good, but probably not so good. That's why it's laughable. Well, I'm glad you're not dead. Me too. <laughs> Remember the time that you fucking busted your face open, like, right before Disadapts, and you came and you still rapped a lot better? That was a good time. Yeah, yeah, I actually, yo, funny story. So uh, I ended up shotgunning a beer first time since I was 19 years old, and I ran to the bathroom to puke, got lightheaded, and I smashed my nose off my sink, broke it in three places, and then a m week later, I went and rapped at the rap competition, and I had, like, a massive split in my lip, and I still did the motherfucker, so, yeah. That's just his excuse for having a deviated septum, but we know you got yeah, beat up yeah. in high school. <laughs> oh, man, don't I miss him. deviate. <laughs> no, you fucking don't. Shut I your miss mouth. deviate. I miss, <laughs> I, <laughs> I miss cheap Cheap luckies. Anybody who says they missed this DVA wasn't really there. Come on. Uh, I think I was there a little too much. You were just at Mama's Pizza, don't lie. Oh, yeah. I was at Mama's Pizza. That's right. Anyway, 
We have no idea where this is going, so make some fucking noise for Ajax, motherfuckers. Don't forget to hit the interview corner. Tell them how much Yo. you sucked. Yo, you, you gotta go tell them, come on. I think it's because he shaved his beard. That's what we're blaming it on. All right, make us some noise, motherfuckers. Can I get Goldilocks to the stage? We got a new name. We got a new name. Goldilocks. Can I do acapella? Is that a choice? Yeah, yeah, if you want, you can. Yeah, cut the beat. She can go acapella. That's an option. All right. All right. Whenever you're ready. All right. I welcome in unexpected blessings and sudden surprises, divine justice, conscious connections, form and structure, hopes and dreams, feminine energy, opportunities, synchronicities, anything I please, I'm living all my dreams. Hey, do you know what's tragic? Some people still don't believe in magic. Energy healing, what's that? It's transformation, synchronicities. How could you not believe in? This Reiki got me feeling so amazing. I do believe I'm reverse aging. Run my bars, hop, hop, park it off. Really Release limited beliefs and thoughts. Heal that shit, release and move on. Be strong, let it go, know your worth, you belong. Lovingly and consciously creating my reality. I have the ability to overcome duality. This next chapter is big, who's on the journey with me? Every morning dedicate to meditation. Follow your dreams, unite elevation. This vision of light, the circle of light. Trust in the divine, give and receive. Speak your truth, always believe. Interconnectedness, follow your intuition. Make decisions with clarity and confidence. Focus on your journey, don't worry about them. I got sacred, rebel, spiritual gangster, good witch, bad bitch energy. Like a trailblazer, blazing trails, leading traces of magic. Metamorphosis, master manifester, hopes and desires. Show up faster. Thank you very much. My name is Goldilocks. Goldilocks, you guys. Thank you so much. I traveled two and a half hours to get here tonight to get a shot on this mic. So thank you so much for having me. You guys, make some motherfucking noise for Goldilocks. I want. I want to know how how many times have you performed on stage before? Um. Performed? Yeah. Many times performed, basically first time performing professionally rapping. Uh, for especially for that, like for you being earlier in your development, I think that might have been the best stage presence anybody's had on a bucket pull in the history of the show. Go on. I will, I will. <laughs> you if if Brother Ali was was a, a, a girl from Edmonton, it would be you. What? <laughs> Did you not Thank hear you Brother much. Ali when she was rapping? I heard, I heard you when she was rapping. <laughs> <laughs> no, the you inspired me when I saw you at Intersect. Oh shit, oh shit. Respect, respect. Hey, make some noise for Intersect. Yeah, Intersect. Come back to us. But no, for, for real, like the, the way that you integrated the singing into what you were doing, but you didn't let it completely overtake it so that you were just singing and not rapping. And then when you stepped on the speaker and you had the line about magic and you like really like, like from the bottom of your diaphragm, like leaned into it and were just like, like let it out. Like that, that was really, really fucking good. That was really good. If I, if, if I could critique like anything in not so much through the second half, but through the first half, there were a couple rhymes that didn't f totally fit sequence, but it wasn't like they weren't there, like they just kind of stretched over the bar a little bit sort of thing. Yeah. It was like a little bit of tightening right there will go a long way, but especially for like where you are in your development, I would just be an asshole to say anything bad here. Thank you. I oh, got some, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, like, the stage presence was great, uh, the way you project your voice is great, uh, the crowd interaction's great, I like when people stand up here on the speaker, I don't know why I like that, I just do. Uh, do you ever, like, rap two beats, or? Oh, yes, all yeah? the time, yeah, I just wanted to get as much in as I possibly could. Right, yeah, yeah, because, like, what, what he was thought. saying, like, there were, like, a few parts where I was, like, there's a reason this was acapella, because, yeah. like, it definitely, like, a lot of it wouldn't work to a beat. Yeah, it looks um, like I skipped from this to that. 
Yeah, for sure. You definitely look like that's the lyrics you write. I don't know. <laughs> I write all high vibrational, inspirational, spiritual music, conscious hip hop. You go to a lot of festivals. I go to a lot of festivals, and it's my plan to start performing at a lot of festivals. Dope. Well, I, I wish you luck. I mean, you got Thank the you, you got the stage much. presence for it. You can you can definitely do it. Thank you. For sure. I Keep coming back it. here, Thank too. Thank you so much, you guys, for uh, giving me the opportunity. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, thank you for coming, especially. I know that you drove in from out of town to be here with us, so that's fucking awesome. Uh, the, next, the next festival that we are booking, you can consider yourself booked for that. Woo! When you're done, I want you to go up and hit the interview corner, but when you're done the interview corner, I actually want you to bounce over to our merch booth because for what a display of showmanship that was, you're going to get a dis or dap shirt. So go and see our girl Erin at the thank merch booth. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it, you guys. Make some fucking noise. Come on, what are you doing out there? All right, if you guys know what to do, we're going to get this going, and we're going to go into a speed round here because we have way more names in this bucket than we ever did. There's no way we're going to get through them all, but we're going to get through as many as we can. Well, do you haven't picked one yet. You pick one. I guess, I guess. I can't read. They can't write, so it's fine. I don't know. Uh, J. Dizzy? I can't tell if that says J. Dizzy or somebody. J. That, that does. What? If that says J. Winter, you, you, you wrote P instead of W, and I don't know what the fuck is going on. That's it. Next time we're getting a tablet, and we're fucking typing these out. I don't, I don't believe, I don't believe on I don't know. I literally don't know what this says. Hold it on, looks like on. it says J. Dizzy. Yeah. Is there, is there anybody whose name starts with a J that isn't J Winter? Because I refuse to believe that this is what this fucking I mean, says. That could also be a num the number three. I don't, it's... <laughs> what? Well, where the fuck is Jeremy Winter? If you're going to fucking He's write the wrong name on, like, tell you wrote, somebody or You put the guy doing the interviews in the bucket? Fucking whatever we're doing. Okay, we're, no, no, no. Audiologists, get to the fucking stage right now. <laughs> Boo! Right now. Boo this man! Boo this man! Boo! Uh, I'd apologize, but I'm not fucking sorry. And we're not sorry we booed you. All right. All right, cool. <laughs> ah. We single-handedly responsible for the constable stressing over the surgeon overdose and the murder rate. Lack of dopamine, serotonin, and oxytocin for the holes in between his toes, more fluid between his vertebrae. If you get the Jones and osmosis, I got the doses you holding, I got the hoses you growing like pupils dilate. Everyone dies sooner or later. Honestly, stop the hating, do us all a favor, promise to stop procrastinating. I'm past the patient, past the cannon ash, so I can smoke this crack. Get back to my pad to pass it after masturbate. Body erotic asphyxiation, mix some shame with your H for H and a burn you like pupil therapy radiation. Back spread and a patient. Like a treatment like better for cancer patients. Porn and threats to these letters, no more programs or addresses on them. Take that these envelopes, these envelopes. Right, I right, fucked up, right, whatever. Boom! <laughs> whatever. No excuses. Man, you were off to such a solid start, fuck. <laughs> it's the most solid I've ever been, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and that's saying something. Yeah, yeah, it really is. If, if classified smoke crack while he was doing a shitload of Adderall, <laughs> Listen, I quit crack two years ago. Adderall, though. Yeah, I was going to say, we, we, we know you're still on the Addies. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah. Hey, they're, they're prescription Addies. Come on. If Brother Ali was Conor McGregor <laughs> <laughs> Come on. and didn't work out. Yo, yo, that, that's funny because Brother Ali is partially blind. So if Conor McGregor was just partially blind and got the shit knocked out of him all the time. <laughs> Hey, listen, I probably got the shit knocked out of me more times than Conor McGregor well, you did. You get some <laughs> fucking drum tattoos, bro. You won't get fucking hit. <laughs> 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 how, how, many, how many times have you got the shit knocked out of you because of some shit you said on Dis or Daps? Oh, shit. You want to know? All right. At you, least you once. Got, you got, <laughs> there was at least one you, time. You guys want to hear a story? Can I tell them a story? I would love to hear a story. Yeah, All right. <laughs> so I wrote this. I mean, I did this video called Drip Flare, right? And I pull up. To White Ave, coming off of Gateway Boulevard, and there's this couple in a little Kia Forte, and they're drinking teas. Teas are bad news, it's just all around here. Yeah. So, at the end of the shoot, this couple goes, "All right, see you later." And then I get a message from her. She's like, "Yo, let me know when the video." 
I'm like, it's going to be like months. I'll tell you what, you and you tell your boyfriend, I will let you guys know when it's done. He showed up to Dis or Daps a month later to the day. And we, God bless Dan. I don't think he's here now. But this dude walked up to me like this. I came, I came out of the goddamn venue. I was like, whoa, the fuck? He's like, you talking to Tiffany? Who the fuck is Tiffany? Man, you know that guy's uh, definitely got a small who, dick. Who the? Uh, I, that's what There's I said. There's no to, way. That's what I said to the paramedics. There's no way that that's guy's packing said a to the paramedics. So fast and we, forward. We also do believe that the woman that you flirt with would be named Tiffany. Uh, you know what? Breakfast at Tiffany's, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> So, no, I was not, in fact, We know you got served, but I don't think it was breakfast. Yo, I, got, I, got served a set of, I got served I got served a set of brass knuckles is what happened. So, anyways, this dude, I look at him. I'm like, hey, look at everybody here. They're, I, they're, they're all my friends. I was like, if you want to fight, now is not the day to do no, it. No, we'll let him. You know what he did? He showed up to my place of work a month later and dialed me in with brass knuckles. My whole this guy place. waited two months <laughs> to two hit you. Two months. He, Man, he, you he, should not he, have talked to Tiffany. This guy, I, I, I used to fucking live with Audie, and he fucking staked out our house. He, he was to with me. follow him from our good. house to his fucking work. Well, it Holy, doesn't well, help. You know what? I've never spoken to Tiffany. For the record, where's all the cameras? I, I've <laughs> never. <laughs> in fact, I, I live in Alaska. I'm not from here. I was there. I've seen it all. I've just seen... Like some dude leaning into the back of the car. I'm like, what's this guy jacking off us? And I run up and I see it's him getting his fucking ass beat. And then I fucking chase the guy down the fucking street. And fucking this guy's crawling out of the back Audie's of the fucking car. used to car. getting his ass beaten another so, way. So yeah, yeah. Long story short, I got a worse track record than Conor McGregor. And I have got my ass beat at a district depth. I'll be taking names out front. <laughs> fucking Conor McGregor over here. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. This is, this is why you don't live with newfies, guys. Take fucking notice. Well, make some noise for yourselves and dish or daps tonight, hey? Put your fucking hands together. This is a fucking amazing thing we got going here tonight. God bless. Thank you. Those are definitely the only pair of nice pants you've ever owned. I'll take them off if you want. <laughs> I will, Moving on. I'll make you a regular to not. So are you going to go do your own interview now? Like, what, what the hell the fuck does that happen? No, don't, don't get no. back on the mic. It's in the corner, you fucking asshole. Get up there. <laughs> Pay attention. Act like you've been here before while we do things we've never done before. Christ, you guys all need to go back to fucking school and learn how to write your own fucking name. Holy shit. I don't, um, it looks like it says Gandalf. No, 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 no. Hold up, hold up, hold up. It says Gump. <laughs> oh, another guy doing the interview. Yeah, so, we're, we're, we're going to save this for the last bucket pull and then he can interview himself at the end. It'll be great. Jesus We're going back Christ. to the bucket. That I guarantee Audie put his name in there. Motherfucker! Can we get J Dub U? -U? Did you put fucking Jeremy Winter in here twice, you cunt? Nah, like J Dub! J Dub U! J W Bush? I feel like we're going to have to redact our record for the most bucket pulls because Audie was just jerking off in the bucket, and that's all we really got here. <laughs> we're moving on. Let's try this again. Maybe the third time it'll work. <laughs> this just fucking says Ajax again. What the fuck? This may be the record for the least amount of bucket pulls and the most repeats. And if Ajax did better, we'd get him back on the stage, but... <laughs> This just fucking says Chris if this is you audiologist, I swear to fucking God. Is there anyone other than Audi named Chris? You won't do it again. You didn't even get through the first time. What the fuck? Oh 
Oh, God. We're already, we're getting down to the wire here. We've never went four pulls with no person before. Oh, oh yeah, thank fucking God. Can we get the infamous ING to the stage? <laughs> we almost fucking canceled the show right there, guys. Fuck. I had to dig deep there. Holy fuck. Uh, uh, yo, uh, yo, uh, uh. Hey, yo, check it. You had to dig deep when the beats I peep. Hey, yo, uh, I leave them like some little sheep. Hey, yo, sheepo. Hey, yo, they creep flow. Hey, yo, I'm about to check it out, and I don't trust no church steeple. Nah, I only trust in myself the infamous ING, the words I display via fucking limitless. Yo, uh, I got a rockin' fist, and I hold this shit down with an iron fist. And uh, you cannot do this, it's disadapts. It's the facts with the flows that are into raps. Y'all fucking rollin' fucking crap. She blows all my nuts like the dice and she calls it para fucking dice yo i'm living the life that i want to fucking live i do what i do dog he's just a little kid yo i do a big it's sad day up in the hood and half my homies yo they misunderstood if you know what i'm talking about it's word of mouth and if you talk too much you get knocked the fuck out hey yo uh, i spit game like there ain't no fucking instrumental hey yo dog i rock with the flow and the tempo i let go and then i'm sharper than a stiletto and yo guess what dog you can check out <laughs> Woo! Woo! Yeah! Make some noise for the infamous ING! Yep! I think you're the first rapper on DoD with a Jesus piece, so shout out Iggy's Jesus piece. Yeah! (laughs) (laughs) Somebody (laughs) mood. Fuck Jesus! (laughs) Don't get hung up on it, come on! It was a gift. I, I think I, I think I actually watched you start rapping like 20 years ago, or like s- pretty close to that. Something like that. So watch it. Wa- I mean, we're getting old, and I just definitely aged ourselves oh, a little bit. I want to know where you found a time machine to go back and shop at the sand store. <laughs> Yo, man, I'm that guy. Uh, you some people digging the crates for them beats and them instrumentals. I'm digging in the crates for that like fucking old school '90s shit. You know, digging the winners, looking where that Biggie T-shirt at. Like that's winners, you're at Value Village. Don't that fuck Value it. Village, whatever, man. Save them dollars. He's the only one still shopping at San Francisco. Yo, man, got my first digi at San Francisco. Shit still holds a battery. Shit fucking owes me nothing. Shout out Triton. Word up. Shout out Triton Scales. <laughs> yeah, Triton Scales. That was, that was a deep cut for the hoodlums in the house. Yeah. Uh, that was probably our first time having a rapper turn into Snoop Dogg, like the last second. Ooh. You, Appreciate that. You, you did Snoop Dogg it up to make sure it rhymed at the end there, because a regular, a regular person talking, it didn't, but you pulled up the ow. <laughs> yeah. So it's the first sound. time he's pulled out the ow. Story time. Ow. Uh, this guy bought Evil Ebenezer tickets off of me a few weeks ago and shared, show. shared a joint with me, and I had to take Uh-oh. a nap. I was like, this is fucked up. I got a busy day ahead of me. It was the day of the show, wasn't Sorry, it? Sorry, homie. It was like the day of the show, and this guy gets me way too baked, and I'm like, I'm, I got to fucking rap later. My joints are like a one hit, you know, They're like a one hit wonder. Yeah, well, you could have told me that before I took like fucking seven. <laughs> Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. My bad. <laughs> Fuck my bad, you. Man. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> you still killed it, man. You lost your mic, and you spit the hardest shit I've ever seen without a yeah, mic. Yeah, no, so. my mic cut Ooh. out, like, during my last song, so I just dropped it and started screaming it in people's faces. That was fun. In the face. Yeah. The mic was never mic. plugged in. You were just shouting at people the whole time. Yeah, I wasn't even there. Word. I can't remember. Have we have we talked about the story about the time you almost stabbed me before? Did we do that? Yeah, yeah. but you know what? I want to talk about the time that... You were stabbed, <laughs> and I fucking <laughs> st- <laughs> shit, 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 shit. Homie Welcome was to Edmonton, folks. In a back alley, and you know what? I was like, I was about to run after them. You know what you said to me? Your life ain't worth the money. And respect that, man. No yeah, life respect. ain't worth the money, homie. Word. Well, how much money? It was only an ounce of weed. Yeah, uh, well, an ounce of what? Yo, I do. I, <laughs> good, good. I do remember though. We were driving home. We were driving home from that shit because we were gonna go play ghetto hospital in the fucking in the in, <laughs> back at home. And you were just like, "Yo, why do you, why why are you sitting funny?" And I was like, "I don't know, man. Something's wrong." And I like pulled my hand out of my pocket, and I was like, 
Oh shit, I got stabbed, dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that ounce. Wow, that bombed. That, that was terrible. Good thing I'm not rapping tonight. Are you ever really rapping? No. Are you just yelling at people? Just mostly Talk yelling. The mic. Yeah. Yo, that 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 concludes th this session of Ingy and Red's hood stories. We didn't talk about his performance Check the podcast at later. all, by the way. <laughs> well, he yeah, freestyled. It was mediocre the whole way through. It wasn't bad. It wasn't great, and left us nothing to really dig at him with, other than the fact that he really snoop dogged it out. Hey, yo, if you like that, man, check me out, Infamous ING. I got an album coming up. It, it is what it is till it ain't what it ain't, and it's dropping with Dis or Daps December 7th. Holla at your boy if you need tickets. Got a lot of other tracks coming out. Track with Ilium. Got a track with Samson ODB. Yo, fucking check it. Well, that was what it was till it wasn't well it wasn't. Make some noise Ooh. for my boy. Y'all motherfuckers just scared of us all hiding up on the second level. We just gave you guys space. That was the wrong move. They don't want to get in the splash zone. I keep looking at Baphometric like, what am I going to say to this fucker? <laughs> Fucking anime character. He's over. already ready with what he's going to say to you. He comes cooked. So. We're going to battle one day, and it's going to be fucking bad for you, bud. <laughs> That's, don't fucking get cocky, Rich. You're next. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, with Poltergeist battles, you don't actually have to be remotely battling him to be in the splash zone. In fact, your last battle, you barely battled your opponent at all. You just fucking laughed at everyone. Yeah, else. I started dissing. I dissed him. I just started turning around and dissing all my friends. I was like, yeah, oh yeah, I was battling this guy. And then I had to like remember where I was. That was really fun. I enjoyed that moment lots. <laughs> so what do we do now? I feel like somebody here knows what to do. We're going to have to get Baphometric an actual fucking drum or this is never going to work. People are fucking with us, right? Like Q. That's got to be Q. Oh, okay, that's a Q. All right, all right, all right. I thought it was a two. If your name is Q or rhymes with two. I know, I know. I know who Q is. I just don't know where the fuck he is. We need him right now. I was just going to cup the mic and scream in it, but I don't think I will. Sorry, John. I won't do that to you. <laughs> this dude's two seconds away from missing his cue. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. All right, start the timer. <laughs> all right, all right. What are we getting? Is this ATS? <laughs> oh, All right. Decompressing the microphone, I'm being dressing. A verbal tactics, well, matter of fact, this. I said it down tight. Over these drum licks that fit. Tell you one now, cause no, no, you ain't no nothing like it. Roll a fat stick. Pass the cue, mic, he likes it. I don't get mad, you just won't pass the mad judgment. Take the herbal supplement and tell the fucking government. Legalize the substance, but they already did that shit as justice. I can't kill nobody, you want to bitch it. It's 4.15, I can't sleep or so it seems. Sitting down, fight in front of that big blue screen. I try to visualize my size on the TV screens with no compromise. I think it's gonna be huge, see when I'm writing two lines. I'm thinking all that they're fine. And even though they're rhyming off the fucking top of my mind, you might be singing along because I'm thinking that they're mine. Maybe I stole it, a line for line, I beat your drive. I'm talking to fatties, what well, belong off the top of my what's up? This or daps, first time for me. Thank you guys. Thanks That's so all I got. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're just getting started. We're just getting started. That I, I just want to take a second to say that that beat sounded like it came out the year you were born. Yeah. <laughs> you must know me. Who told? They I, had uh, beats back then? I got your phone number off the bathroom wall, so I don't, I don't know. It, it was good. 911. That shows how old I am, too, right? <laughs> <laughs> I showed how old I was there, too. But this is a takes one to know one situation here for sure. For, for real, though, I want to know what, like, you came up here like you were going through airport security, though. You're like, I'm going to get this shit off the table, put this up right now. 
No, you collect your belongings after your sentencing. <laughs> Doing all time with this or that, see ya. Jesus, man. Fuck, where do I start? This is, I'm, this is the first time since 2018 that I think I've heard somebody say, legalize it, man. <laughs> and then he was like, oh, wait, we already did that. <laughs> At least you're self-aware. <laughs> you, look, you look like... You fill a pitcher with the with the empties at the end of a punk show every night. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a punk rocker all the way, baby. All the way. It's like if Brother Ali <laughs> was in Onyx. <laughs> I love Onyx, too. No way, bro. This is more like if Brother Ali was in No Effects. Get out of here. <laughs> you guys like how long ago probably i don't know fucking 40 years eight ago. years ago it was like one of the first disadapts at b street yeah remember that place <laughs> oh yeah. shit whoops that Hang on. They're, they're like just down the road they might hear us nobody will hear us there's nobody there <laughs> oh fuck oh fuck <laughs> Yo, even all the even all the staff that used to serve us, that was actually pretty nice there. They all quit too. Yeah, half of them are at like rendezvous now, right? And they still bitch about you guys. God, I hope so. <laughs> and we still bitch about them, right? <laughs> you can find J Red's number on their bathroom wall too. Unfortunately. You look like you leave your number on bathroom walls. I do. Of course I do. I'm a lonely old man. You look like you have a reason for these pockets. They're not real. I feel like we've hit a new low with where we're going with this one. He's yeah. talking about his pockets. So you guys make some fucking noise for Q. Let's keep this moving. Love it. This adapts. What's up? I mean, we're technically out of time, but you know what? Fuck it. We're gonna keep this running. We're gonna One we're gonna more. give him a clip. Can I get sliced to the stage? Hey Q! Q, don't forget, hit the corner for an interview. Yeah, hit the corner, hit up there, you got an interview. Yo, 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 yo. It's the most disastrous fit of this side, the North Saskatchewan River Slice. What up, yo? Okay, okay, okay. Cut the beat, cut the beat, cut the beat. I want to do this acapella. Yo, I see your battle. I see your battle. We're beat it, nerd. I only got 60 seconds. Let's make this quick. J Red's girlfriend said he only lasts about 60 seconds, anyways. Yo, Jamie, Jamie, did J Red's have to force you to do this event? Go like this and say I'm okay. J Reds is only doing this event to pay for his monthly shower at the YMCA. <laughs> yes, what? Justin, I know these are your friends and I know they love you. That's because J Reds identifies as a cis male and his girlfriend does too. <laughs> what, what, they're very progressive. I'm only telling the truth. Justin, you shouldn't be here hanging with us. You should be at home hanging from the roof. It's first affiliated monsters. I don't think you know who we are fully. I'll slap you in the face like a schoolyard bully. You ain't never seen a better veteran letter in words like a letterman. And motherfuckers heard of a mammoth in the night because they're where I've never been. That's why you never see a meeting like you don't know where his lunch is until I start force feeding you punches. Yeah, we battled before, but I guess this makes this round four. I've been sitting here all these years waiting silently. But hearing you say my name woke up something inside of me. I had visions of choking you violently. Like, motherfucker, are you stupid? J Reds hates smoking cigarettes, but he loves sucking on a Cuban. <laughs> and James Wing, you fucking fat piece of back bacon. Yo, you're, you're so far over your time. Just <laughs> cut the fucking. Holy shit. Oh, what? I, I thought we do battles around here. Where the fuck are my disses? I, I, I thought feel this was so the rose, lonely. man. I thought these were the rose. Come on. I suck too. 
This is what happens when you have a life that little dweebs from the closet sit there and write whole verses about you that you've never met before and have no fucking idea who they are. It's Timbo Slice. I beat you in your first battle. Do you don't remember Holy me? Holy shit, You it's brought Timbo me up Slice. in your last battle, dog. You brought me up in your last battle. I didn't recognize right? you. You don't look like a crackhead anymore. Good for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Holy uh, shit! We love reunion. Holy shit! Yeah, yeah, no, no, no! Yeah, yeah. I'm not even playing. You had a come up, dog. What a glow up! I'm fucking stoked for you right on. <laughs> but holy shit, that got under your skin so much that you fucking had to rectify a battle from 14 yeah, years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey man, I had to come back here, bro, bro. Bro, I had a fucking fake ID at that battle. I was 14 years old. Hey, bro, <laughs> you had to bring me up in your battle just to stay relevant. I mean. You know what, what I mean? I'm you, the best battler in the city. I bro, just came bro, here to fucking bro, prove bro. it. I have to bring you up to stay relevant? What you, the fuck did you just do? <laughs> you just spit a whole verse about me. You brought me up in your battle. I had to come back and show you who the real man was, bro. That's okay. Yo, yo, it's, that's fine. Somebody tell Polly and Shelby that me and you are battling March 26th at the next battle. Let's go. Let's go, Timbo! Yeah. Let's see what happens when somebody else writes for you and they were prepared for it and you don't just show up with a whole fucking verse ready for them. Let's go, bro. That, that was, was, that was awesome. great. awesome. He showed himself out. I didn't even have to say, make your way to the fucking interview. Wow. And how does that make you feel? I straight up had fucking no idea that that's who that was, and I haven't thought of that name other than when I dropped it in a battle a couple months ago in well, fucking he's been, years. he's been thinking about you, bro. I just don't understand why he came back here with a vengeance, because he fucking won the battle 14 years <laughs> he ago. He won? Yeah. <laughs> I was 14. I fucking got high and I choked the whole battle, so I don't know what sort of vengeance he was trying to fucking exact here. Yeah, <laughs> fuck me, right? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Paradox Life says to come back when you can rap on a beat. I was, I was also just very confused. Like, if you just say A at the end of the bar, it rhymes because you said A. It, whatever, we're moving on. Somebody get us a bucket. We, we were done bucket pulls, but that's not how we're ending the night. So come on, let's go with one more. Paradox Life is just giving it a big fucking... Can we get bad hands to the stage? No? Bad hands, can we get bad hands to the stage? What's going on, this is that's first time, y'all. Uh, sure, why not? Yeah. Okay, yeah, listen, hey, this is my demand, my demand, it don't know what's slow, what time is finding, finding its way out, I was after, I find it's my lyrics, trigger emotion, make race for the ocean, live on the low to it always makes it end as a focus, hope it's not a joke, you do dwell in the dot like you on an island, like it can fly to your heart. <laughs> Finally, man, I do shit, but finding this silent before the timer. Get the jacket attached for and like the door. Don't remind it while it gets violent from overexposure to rock. Told the road, my trash, and it's a fiddle like it. It's torn your back against the padding. You managed to live, I'm clapping, but laughing. Cause my thoughts are sharp, and it is starting slashing and stabbing. Gashing, having you gasping, is in the name that done it. Yo, cut that beat for a second. Yo, cut that. Give me a little bit. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just another human being, raising two human beings. My aim is not to repeat my dad. I can never ever be him, wish they never made mirrors so I'd never have to see him. Be a friend or foe, it's no weight on me. Destiny ain't gonna wait on me, and you won't make me be late for the meeting. They say these dreams are too big, I say they be in foolish but true until I'm through. Before they say my name, they feel it, fearing nothing. And true to the one thing that saved my whole life. When I'm old and I hold mics, the whole globe gonna know why. Until I'm lifeless, I'ma give the planet something to move through. As I progress, do my final lesson, fuck them and do you pen, scribbling on the sheets. Lost in the beat, soul on the page, cause tomorrow's not guaranteed. On stage, Gleaming, brush off my shoulders and floss with my team as we pay the cost of a dream. Yeah. Oh shit, motherfuckers. You guys make some noise for MF Shrooms over here. <laughs> what? Hey, what? this adapts. First time, man. Mad love, y'all. Yo, I like what you guys are doing here. I appreciate it.
We appreciate that too, brother. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're the first masked assailant we've had on the show so far. That's what's up. I like the. You you were spitting all right when you came out the gate, but you could tell that where you were with your rap tempo wise wasn't gonna serve what you were yeah, spitting. Yeah, what I was spitting. Yeah. So you took control of the moment and got what you needed out of it instead of just letting the moment kick your ass in. You That's like right. took control, you brought it back in. That's right. That shows control. That's what an MC does. That's some real shit. Hey man, this ain't my first rodeo for real, so. It was his Definitely second. Not. Shut up, boss hog! <laughs> Yo, you just yeah. got your new rap name. <laughs> I was raised in the rap community, molded by it. You really adopted it. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit, man. Uh, you, you're like all, all blacked out and not wearing anything. Fun. Well, I guess it's, we got the mask, but we already went yeah. there as soon as we started. Um, if, you, if, if you can get another mask that just like opens the mouth a little bit so, you, so your, your voice gets to the yeah. mic a little bit better sort of thing. Because you were actually spitting really dope. Just a little bit more clarity would be nice to of bring course. it through the mix a little bit more. I mean, like, to be fair, it is a fucking sweet mask, though. Like, it's it's pretty it sweet. Cool. MF Shroops was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> MF Shroops. I like that, so. That might be an AKA. I might have to take that. But yeah. I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, uh, you weren't ready for the beat, but then you cut it and you started, you know, you, you took your time, you paced yourself, you got your lyrics out. It looks, looks to me like you were spitting some really deep shit. And uh, yeah, I don't know. You have great stage presence, by the way. There's a mic stand here. Yeah, I figured that out a couple bumps, you know. <laughs> you we're, bumped into it like yeah. four times. That's we're, okay. we're good friends now, me and that mic stand, unfortunately. <laughs> I feel like somebody you, like you, you probably like move around a lot on the stage, right? Oh, like, I, I'm used room. to big stages, man. I'm used to, but this is, yeah. this is still dope, you know. Yeah, I mean, I, you did good. I, I would love to see like a whole set. Oh, yeah, I got, I got uh, you know, I'll be sure to plug all my socials and shit, but I got a lot of shit coming this year. I'm ready to make some noise. Ready to do some real hip hop for Edmonton, some real... Uh, you know, I'm a lot of crap, a lot of eclectic shit, so I play guitar and all that shit, too, so... Dope. Yeah, you're gonna see some interesting shit, for sure. Who thinks that we should see this motherfucker on a show here at Disadapts? Hey, man. I appreciate y'all. Disadapts, keep this shit going, man. This shit is awesome. Yo, technically, we're out of time for Disadapts, but I'll tell you what, guys. I'm gonna cut my set a little short. We're gonna do one more, just because we've had more people in the bucket than ever. I want to get one of you guys up here. We're gonna keep it quick and moving. Give me a fucking drum roll so we can move this along. You guys, can I get Mac 1 to the stage? You guys had a fucking rap show or what? Make some motherfucking noise! slowly my life is so boring I can barely write a story I started doing pre-written bars now that's how boring my life is all I do is check the mail and then I check the mail and then I check the mail and then I do some yell my life is so damn boring yo chill yo Samson thank you for the edibles because now I can't remember a thing <laughs> Yeah! 200 milligrams. Fucked up my day. What the fuck can I say? Get the fuck out my face. I'm just trying to ride to work on my scooter today. I'm just trying to nine to five, trying to get paid. Nah, what else can I say? Chill. Chill. J Reds. Sorry. Let's go, let's go. I'm so damn high. That was the best one of the night, in my opinion. You shouldn't have talked to Samson. <laughs> he flew you to the moon. Got you lifted. I'm more than half-baked, for sure. <laughs> At least three quarters. 
I want to know if you actually checked the meal. <laughs> Did I say check the meal? <laughs> like four or five no, times. Same <laughs> live or nothing. Fuck, guys. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, man, it was going pretty bad until you mentioned that the edibles fucked your day up. I just and then met myself. Me and Paradox Life looked at each other like, this is the best shit ever. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> don't worry, guys. I just met me, too. It's my first time meeting me, also. That's how high I am right now. Yeah, yeah, for real. <laughs> fucking boring right now. Wait, the, the, the bar saved the whole thing because you were vulnerable and you let us in for a second so we could know what the fuck was happening. What are friends for? I Jared? can't wait to see the interview after this. <laughs> yeah, you got to do an interview, bro. He's <laughs> like, I thought this was the interview. You're going to be all right. <laughs> Goddamn edibles fucked up my interview. <laughs> I tell you about my week, but I don't even know what I did with this week. Yo. <laughs> Just because I know you, we don't have to go there. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Good night, I, I want you to tell the people one redeeming fact about you. I spell my name right. That's fair. Usually. You know usually, usually, to, to, usually, be, to be usually. fair. To be fair. Like an X in there sometimes. For for as high as you were, you were the only person that had a legibly written fucking name in the bucket. So I mean, you did spell your name right, and like, no. I don't know what the fuck Audi was I doing. I actually didn't even write my own fucking name. Someone else said. Audi, what the fuck? This poor kitty's just so high, and you go put his name in the bucket. Call him up. You could ask this kid if he wants to do fucking homework right Yo, now, and he'd say, yeah. He doesn't, he's not, I'm he's a not dope there. gangster rapper. Let's go do. Dope. Freestyle rapper. Yo. Yeah, dope. <laughs> Capitalized dope. Dope freestyle rapper. Yeah. We need an interview as soon as possible before the other bulls wear off. Thank you for nothing, guys. I'm sorry I wasted your time. Fuck, that was funny. They also thank you for nothing, too. Fuck, guys, I'm supposed to start rapping. We're behind time, but I don't feel like we could end on that. You know, like, we just got to give it one more try. We got to give it one more try, guys. Shout out to j sacrificing a set for this or Dab's bucket polls tonight. Can we get the only person who writes their name with a pentagram in the motherfucking stage? Manufactured, conflict onset, auditory, instrumental conquest, color me possessed, scales that turn to gray, cardiac caress, another chasm to escape. Remedy, memory, turbulent experience, sense of time of severance, centered in oblivion. The weight means little here, demonstrate a visionary oscillating spheres, hanging from the ceiling. Keep a broken images, greet my morning shadow. Shallow selfish hypocrite, smiling at the gallows. Just another day of parting ways. Gamble with my life, wicked pack of cards to play. I dropped it for a second there, fuck. I want to know what Super Nintendo game you go home and write beats on. Super Nintendo. Yeah, Zelda, definitely, yeah. Thank you. The fact that you had a serious answer for that question is... You look like you wrote the code for the Matrix. Morpheus. Did he write the code? I was going to say, there is no person on the planet that looks less like Morpheus than him, like, ever. Okay, yeah, no, no. Neo. You're a Neo-Neo. Uh-oh, uh-oh. And I'll put Mio in your water bottle, <laughs> along with some acid drops. I do believe that you have put acid in people's drinks before. Fucking he scarred me here over here. <laughs> put the fear in Ari Shafir. <laughs> I, thought, I thought he just put the shaft in him. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, oh, hey. 
<laughs> Is this thing on? Ah! I would I would like to know if you went and robbed John Lennon's actual grave for the glasses, though. You look like I'm just kidding. <laughs> Fuck you, yeah, mate. Yeah, with a golden spade. Fuck you. I love you too. All right, guys, we've went, we were on way over time. Make some noise for Baphometric here. Make some noise for Dis or Daps. Woo!